Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now today I have for you the Resolve wig and I'm wearing it right now. This is by Eva Gabor in Cappuccino Mist. Cappuccino Mist, there it is. Eva Gabor in Cappuccino Mist. Now, my question to you is, is this a gray wig? Now, when I take it off and I hold it up to the camera, you can see the color a lot better. And I am thinking that this is probably a transitional wig. When you have dark hair and you're trying to transition into um, gray. That's what I'm thinking that this wig is good for. Now, it wants to go back at the sides. It's an interesting little wig. It's a kind of a retro style. It wants to go back over the top of your ears like that. It wants to go to this side. You can comb it to the side and it's got fluffy little bangs. And in the back, it wants to flip up. And this is the, the signature part of this wig. It's dark down here and it's grayish up in here. It's called Ch Cappuccino Mist, and it flips up very much like a sister style to the Frenchie. It does do that. Now, this is kind of a retro style, it says, and um, so I'm thinking this is a kind of a gray wig. I'm thinking this is something that would be great if your hair is thinning, and if you've had dark hair, and you're trying to transition into gray, but you don't want to go all gray all at once. This might be a really good wig, or this cappuccino mist color, maybe in a different wig if you like. But this is a pretty good wig. It's very comfortable. I've been wearing it the last two days, and it feels absolutely carefree and comfortable on me. It's really open weave, and it's um, got a hidden whiff, which I'll show you, weft, in the hairline to make a natural hairline. I'll show you that. Got open ear tabs and an extended nape down here. And um, it comes in 27 colors. So, and it is a capless construction. So let's turn it inside out and see what we've got. Now this is called a capless construction. You can see it's got open weaves all the way around it all in here, little bit of tiny lace over at the top, and all open way, all open weave in the back. It does have Velcro closures, yay. See, look at that, yay. I'm excited about that. And it has open ear tabs. See these little ones right like this? That's an open ear tab. And let's look at the open weft, on the hidden weft in the front. So I'm supposing it's this right here, this hidden weft right here for a natural looking hairline. It's just right in there. It's got hidden wefts. And then it says it has an extended nape. So you can see the nape is extended in the back here. So you can see this piece down here, it's extended. So it is a really comfortable wig. Now let's look at the color. Let me hold it up so you can really get a look at that color. I see a lot of gray in it. I see a lot of brown or brunette color in it, especially in the, the back part of here where it flips up is very dark. And um, some lighter grays up on the top. This is why I think it would be a great little transition wig. I mean, it wears so easy. This is a really good plop it on and go wig. Pretty much pre-styled for you. You don't have to do a thing, which I kind of like. I like pre-styled wigs where I don't have to do much because I'm busy. And when I put on my wig, I just want to be able to plop it on and go and not have to sit in front of the mirror for half an hour before I go out the door. So that's the beauty of these kinds of wigs. So I think it's a cute wig. I think it's a pretty wig. Um, 
The color is a great transitional color. Um, it is capless. The front is three and a half inches. The crown is four and a half inches. The sides are three inches. The back is three inches and the nape is two and a quarter. So it comes down pretty long, really, with that extended nape. I'm surprised at two and a quarter inches how much it does cover. But I feel like it does cover my long hairline, even though it's only two and a quarter inch. And I generally like two and a half or more in the nape because I have a long hairline. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I've been wearing it the last couple of days. It goes back at the sides like this. You can see how it goes back. This one here, it has a little less, I, I just perceive it has a little bit less, it could just be this particular one that I got, it has a little bit less hair than the other side. You can see my ear. Whereas on this side here, when I turn around and show you this side, you can't. So, I just, that's just a little anomaly that I perceive. It just seems like it's a little bit harder to cover this ear than that one. And I know my ears are the same, they haven't changed. So I'm thinking it's just a little bit less coverage on, on this side. But other than that, it's a pretty perfect wig and it's just really easy to wear. You couldn't find anything easier or more comfortable. One of the more comfortable wigs I've had on. It does have a little height that kicks up in the back, like out here at the sides, so that it um, distorts from the roundness of the face. So I give it a thumbs up for a little round face like mine. I think it looks good on that. Um, it's good on oval faces and um, triangular faces. Just pretty much anybody can probably wear this little hairstyle because it's just, it's just so cute. It goes back away from your face and kicks up in the back. So that's gonna be complimentary to just about any face shape, I think. So, and the bangs and the, and the uh, hair. The bangs are, I don't have to do a thing to them. They're just about perfect. They're three and a half inches and they're fluffed up. So that makes it hit me just perfectly. So. Anyways, this is the cute little Resolve wig. I think I would like to have one of these in a blonde or a red. I think I would. I think I would like to order one of these because I like the comfort of it. I like all the features on it, the capless features, um, the easy care, the way it just goes back like that and then kicks up in the back. I'm a fan of that. I really like it kicking up in the back. I think that's cute. I like the open ear tabs. It makes it easier for glasses. I have a pair of sunglasses here and I can show you my favorite kind. Goes right in there with perfect ease, perfectly easy um, to do that with. So that's the ear tabs, the open ear tabs. They're easy with glasses. It has an extended nape velcro closures velcro adjusters i just i really like this little wig i really do i think it would be great for anyone especially someone who's dark haired and is transitioning to gray and wants something in between this cappuccino mist color would be really great i think for that but the wig does come in 27 colors so you can get it in a blonde you can get it in a red you can get it in a gray you can get it in any color that you like. Now I wanna to talk to you about something else. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord of all creation. He is the King and mighty in that place. All of heaven and earth bow down before him and nothing is too difficult for him. No matter what you're facing, if you just bring your cares to Jesus, he can deal with it for you. He can fix it. He is the first one to go to, not the last. The first one to go to. He'll not let you down. He's never let me down. Trust Jesus today. And the Bible says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's what the Bible says. 
It talks about belief and salvation again and again in the scriptures. So put your faith in Jesus today and he'll not let you down. Now that's my story for today. This is the review of the Resolve wig by Eva Gabor in Cappuccino Mist. And that's my story for today and I'll see you tomorrow.